Welcome back. We're in the home stretch. I think I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We are almost done with our BMI calculator. Um, just as a recap, we, uh, we're, we've been working on the model, and this is how we've been dealing with our data. Basically, we want to do form validation. We want to validate the feet, the inches, the pounds. Um, we're going to validate. We have some helper validation methods. Is empty, is in range. And we're going to apply all of these in order to create uh, or calculate the body mass index. In order to help that out, uh, I went to pseudocode to sort of define what I'm going to do. So on here, I decided that the BMI, the calculate BMI method, is going to return a string. And that string will be the results. So it will either give a, an error message or it will give us the actual calculation. So uh, that we're going to set the results to results. Then we're going to check feet and inches and pounds. All of them need to be valid. Now, originally, I was thinking we need to just do the feet and the pounds. But if we don't check to see if inches is valid, it won't get set to zero if it's empty. So each of these methods here, the is valid feet, is valid inches, is valid pounds, will all return a true or a false. If every single one of them returns a true, then we have all the information we need to calculate BMI. So if that is the case, and you'll see in just a moment how we do it, we're going to create a variable for inches, and we're going to set it to the value of edit inches. We're going to get the text from it. Remember, if we do the is valid inches, it will set it to zero, but we'll double check to make sure that's how it works. Then we need to get total inches, because in order to calculate BMI, you need your height in inches. So we're going to calculate it to feet times 12 plus inches. Then we set BMI, and the formula is right here. Pounds times 703 divided by total inches squared. And then we're going to set results to, the, to this. Your BMI is with the value. Otherwise, if none of those trigger, we're going to get an error message. Um, and as you may recall, our validator forms, our validator methods, will create a little pop-up alert. So since that alert will show what needs to be done, all we need to really do is set our results to there was a problem with the inputs. And then we're going to return the results, and then that will get displayed in our controller. So remember, this is still part of the model. Okay. So we're dealing with the data. This is business logic or you know, program logic, however you want to view it. And that is the role of the model. So let's go ahead and create that now. So I'm going to move that over to the side so you don't have to see it. Again, we're looking at model over on the left. So I'm going to kind of zoom in so we can see that. We don't really need to look at the um, main activity just yet. So we've got all of our methods. Let's just go ahead at the bottom. We're going to create this. It is going to be static. And instead of Boolean, we're going to return a string. I don't recall if it needs to be uppercase or lowercase, but we'll find out in just a moment. Calculate BMI. Now, the interesting thing, because we happen to be inside of the model, and the model has all of our validation and all of our code to deal with data, we don't need to pass it any information in order for this to work. But we will send out a string. So, static string, calculate BMI. We're going to just go ahead and do result. Oh, sorry, we have to create a string here. String results equals results uh, space like so and let's just go ahead and return results even though we haven't really calculated anything yet so there it is string calculate BMI all right so if we recall on our pseudo code the first thing we were to do was set results to results we already did it now we're gonna we're going to calculate BMI if all fields are valid. So how do we do that? If, you gotta do my if block, there's your structure, if what? Okay, 
So remember, we have is valid inches. We have the is valid feet. We should. Yep, there it is. Remember, each of these return a true or a false. And your if block is actually checking for the true or false. So watch what I do. Is valid feet. <laughs> We're supposed to get our field. I just realized that. In order to get our field, the controller was going to go in there and get it. So I stand corrected. We need to do we do need to pass it some values. And those are the edit text. And this kind this time we're going to do uh, feet inches pounds. And then I'm going to call it edit feet edit inches, edit pounds. Oh, they're red because I haven't declared the data type. They're all edit text fields. OK, don't forget, whenever you pass a parameter, these are called formal parameters. In other words, what form do the parameters take? They take edit text form, so we call them formal parameters. We have to declare the data type and we have to give it a name. Now we can give it anything we want. We could call it E feet if we want. Okay. You could call it Jerry, Joe, Mo, or something like that. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it, it's up to you. So now we're going to do is valid feet and it's going to be edit feet. And is valid inches. I'm going to pass it edit inches. And finally, and I'm going to go on the next line, is valid pounds, and we're going to give it edit, bah, hold on, my cursor just jumped, I hate it when that happens, and that's edit pounds, like so. So every one of those must return a true, or we can't really calculate it, we need all that information, without it we're in trouble. Okay, we're going to create a couple data types for this to process. I'm going to start by creating an integer for our inches equals integer dot parse int edit inches. Um, oh, edit inches. Get text dot two straight. Can't forget that. We're going to go ahead and do that inside. Now, I know I can do this. I don't even need a try block because we already have the is valid inches and we've already tested it. Next, we're going to create another variable for total inches. And we're going to use both the feet and the pounds to figure that out. Actually, or sorry, feet and inches, excuse me. Actually, let me do this first. I just realized we're going to do int feet equals integer dot parse int edit feet dot get text dot two string, like so. Now it's that much easier. Wait a minute. My, I don't like this. It wants to tab everything over. I hate ugly tabbing. Now we just calculate total inches. And of course, that's going to be feet times 12 plus inches, like so. And by order of operations, we know that um, we're going to multiply it before we add, which is definitely better than multiplying feet by 12 plus amount of inches. That would be bad. All right. There we go. We are now ready to set our BMI. In this case, BMI, we want it. In order to calculate BMI, the formula may very well uh, create a floating point number. So we're going to go ahead and um, just going to treat it as an integer. Actually, we're going to use, I think we need to use math.round. Um, yeah, so we're going to send it uh, a double, 
Or we could, I guess we could just create it as a float. It probably doesn't matter. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, um, we'll make it a double. That didn't sound good. All right, double, double BMI. BMI equals math dot round. Just gonna round it. And then now we do our formula. So that's gonna be pounds times seven hundred and three. Oh wait, we never got pounds. Nope. <laughs> Silly me. Int pounds equals integer dot try or parse, excuse me. Parse int edit pounds dot get text dot two string like so. Now we can do it. Pounds divided by 703 or pounds times 703. Divided by, let me put a little space here, total inches squared. So to get it squared, we're going to do math dot, they don't have square, so we'll just do math dot pow total inches, comma double, or comma two. All right. Whew. That's how we calculate BMI, but we have to test it out in just a bit. Um, we're going to set results now. Results plus equals your BMI is BMI like so. Okay, and then the last part is in our else block. If that doesn't work, we're just going to set results to there was an error. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little error message here. All right, so there we go. Uh, let's try to get this all in one screen. So if you want to see that in total, it starts with the static string calculate BMI ends here. We need to test it. So let's go ahead and run this and see if we can get it to work. In order to test this, we're going to provide the inputs of a height in inches. Now, 58 inches, that's total inches with the weight of 91 should give us a BMI of 19. So we've got to do a little simple backwards uh, engineering to get how many feet and inches is that. That should be 4 feet and 10 inches. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And the weight, if it were 91, <laughs> what? What? Okay, I uh, uh, in typing 91, apparently it rotates my screen. Um, well, I did not see that one coming. Okay, well, let's go ahead and calculate it. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of hard to test it if we're not calling the function. Duh. All right, oh, I cannot believe I just did that. All right. We know we have to calculate BMI, but we got to do that in here. So watch what I do. String. Yeah, we go to main activity. Two lines of code. String results equals model dot calculate BMI. Wait, wait. Got to get the right order. Edit feet, comma, edit inches comma, 
and it pounds like so. Now, how is that for a controller code? You like that? On click, string results equals model dot calculate BMI text results dot set text results. Because remember, calculate BMI does return a string, so we capture it with that variable. Now we test it. All right, I don't know what happened there. Let's try it again. What did I say? Four feet. Four feet. Ten inch. Well, ten inches. Ninety-one. No, not eighty-four. Ninety-one. Calculate BMI. Hello. Well, maybe I need to rotate this thing. Okay. Third time. It's just annoying. It's maybe the charm, but I find it annoying. Four feet, 10 inches, 91 pounds, calculate BMI, 19.0. Let's check our chart. Did we get it right? Did we get it right? I think we did. Let's see. 19 was the BMI. All right, we checked the very lowest range. Let's check the upper range. But So 72 would be six feet. So six feet, four inches, and 443 pounds. Six. Hold on. There we go. Six feet. Four inches. What did I say? 443? Calculate BMI. 54.0. Oh, yes. Uppermost. Now, we should probably also try to break it. Go out of range. There is an error with your inputs. Please double check your inputs. Pounds must be between. We got all the information we need there. Let's see what happens if we leave it alone. And blank, pounds is empty. Good, good, good. Uh, let's make them, let's say we didn't add inches. We left that blank. And so that would be 72 inches. And let's give an overweight category. We want to get 25. We're going to pass it 184. Calculate BMI. Notice it changed it to zero, calculated it. So everything I think is good. Um, the only thing that remains would be to throw at it just all the different tests that we can. See if we can hit the normal range, the overweight range, the obese, and the extreme obesity. So you probably want to run it a few more times. Or if you do unit testing, build a bunch of tests just to make sure you kind of cover each of those areas. All right. Well, I think we were done. I think we got it. Thanks for watching.